welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your weekend tarot for the 23rd and the 24th of February 2019 and I wanted to say 18 and I stopped myself. I feel like we're making progress here folks. I know. Sun is in Pisces. Happy birthday to all the lovely Pisceans. This is also my birthday month which makes things my solar return, lighter and brighter. <laughs> That's my story. Oh, okay. The world card has come out nearly every day this week and it's been up and down. And up and down. Okay. There is a situation which, yes, is the energy of stalemate and frustration is coming across to me here. And it may have something to do with um, the Virgo full moon because we do have the moon on the table. Yeah, okay. There is that saying, and I think it's a course of miracles, possibly, when nothing is happening, everything is happening. This is definitely one of those readings, okay? Lots and lots of cards in reverse. I kick off with that world back in reverse. I know, it's been up, it's been down, it's been up, it's been down. It's, for me, finishing this karmic cycle and it's like a false start, two steps forward, three steps back. But it is progress of, so of sorts, even if that progress feels a little bit wobbly and a bit stumbly which it kind of does and then next to it which really really utterly sums up the reading i would say the two of swords this woman has a blindfold and two swords which i see as two aces which are across the heart chakra and she can't see which way to go on she can't make a decision now when you get the two of swords in a reading to my mind the reason why you can't make a decision is because you don't know what your options are you literally don't know it's not like you know it's this way or that way you just don't know any of the ways it's like there's a blindfold it's like i don't know the ways i don't know i don't know okay it's that kind of energy all right temperance in reverse feeling cross about that feeling like you would like to know you would like a decision you would like to choose or be chosen okay one or the other Temperance in reverse is a bit of a reminder to us sometimes that when you're feeling that angsty kind of energy, that, that sort of needy, grabby, want it, you know, type energy, it's a time to somehow manage to just step back, get back into your body and back into your soul in a sense and just be rather than want to be further down the line in whatever this frustrating situation is. Temperance in reverse. Notice when she's in the upright, she has her feet in the source of the water and she can play with the water between the cups like it's nothing. It's like I play with this stuff. This is divine timing in the universe. Shling, shling, shling. It's a bit like, do you remember those toys? The slinky, remember a slinky? Which used to go down the stairs like this and then get stuck on about the middle of the stairs shwing shwing this is water slinky see she's playing water slinky that's how easy it is but she's in the reverse we're not feeling it we're not feeling easy we're feeling like it's just difficult like this is difficult and i don't like it okay underneath all this in the middle of the reading though and not to be sniffed at not to be kicked out of bed for eating crisps ten of wands in reverse there is a burden being lifted. There is a cycle being ended. It is cumbersome and it's not obvious and it's a bit difficult, but it is a good thing in the end. We also have the Nine of Cups in reverse, the emotional wish card. You get what you want, but not how you want it. This isn't how I wished it. This isn't how I dreamed it. This isn't how I saw it. It's not how I thought it would be. Like that. Okay. Major Arcana, 
strength in the upright, self mastery. Strength always has, or nearly always has, a woman on it with her hand kind of in a lion's mouth, in a like, it doesn't matter, this lion could chomp my hand off at any moment, but I know myself and I know this lion and we're good. We're good with this, we've got this, okay? Strength is a very nice card. Self Mastery is the Leo card, it's the card of, in some sense, leadership, okay? You need to lead yourself through this situation such as it is. It's not going to be clearer or easier. People aren't going to step in and make it clearer or easier just yet. But somewhere along the line, we've got the moon in reverse, that's why I was saying about the full moon. And also we have Sun in Pisces at the moment, and this is the Pisces card. This, this card signifies difficult emotions, because the moon is about emotions. It signifies finding things overwhelming. It's emotional overwhelmment, whatever the word is for emotional overwhelmment. But when the moon card goes into reverse, it takes on some quite positive aspects in that things become more real, more realistic, they become clearer, they become, in the end, easier to see. And then the overall energy card, Mr. Patience and the Knight of Pentacles, Mr. It's okay, we've got time, I'm just here with my pentacle and my pawn tash, Look at that pawn tash. That is a pawn tash. You know, do you want me to fix your heating while I'm here? <laughs> Seriously. Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. While nothing is happening, everything is happening. He's cool with it. He's like the kind of masculine version of temperance. He's like, yeah, I'm cool with it. She's cool because she's playing water slinky, but he's cool because he's got his armour on. He knows he's going to get there. He never doubts it, okay? It's also a card, which this card is sometimes called faith. It is faith in your own strength and faith in the strength of the people in the situation. Nice. Ah, okay. Some of you, and this came out the other day, are dealing with a man and there are two women in the scenario. We've got the remembrance and the remembrance is about usually someone who is in your past in some way. Then we have Lady of the Forest and Queen of Bedlam. Now this can be that there are two women involved in a situation. One is quite destructive and causes bedlam. And the other one is cool and is the lady of the forest. Her hair is in the greening. She's like, it's okay. I'm just going to be where I am. I'm going to let the roots grow through me. I know that I'm grounded. All is well. Sometimes when you get two cards like this, you are both. You are flip-flopping between being the bedlam person and the person who knows it is going to be okay. That's all right. A certain amount of flip-flopping is inevitable. Let's have an oracle card. Let's have an oracle card. This is quite a stuck energy. It has been with us all week. All week, I tell you. Yes, my friend. Good, actually. We get chaos and conflict. And do you know what? It's most welcome. Because... I was going to say it takes the stripes off the zebra, but it doesn't. It takes the stripes off whatever else. It takes the patches off and then the zebra stripes underneath. I know, that's a bit confluxed and confused, isn't it? Nevertheless, chaos and conflict causes an interruption in this rather kind of stagnant, stubborn energy. It moves things along. Things happen. Things happen that need to happen. They don't happen because you make them, they just happen. But those happenings make things, those happenings make things happen. Well, that made sense, Gemma, didn't it? I think you know what I mean. SH1T goes down, okay? Something happens. Things move along. Ooh. Forgiveness. 
I know it's always it sticks in your throat, isn't it? Forgiveness is required in this situation. There is conflict. Yes, there needs to be conflict. There is conflict and there is stalemate. OK, forgiveness is key on both sides, but also so is strength in yourself, belief in yourself and self mastery. OK, this will move. This too will pass, okay? So do leave me a comment, do subscribe to the channel and hit the wiggly bell and I'll see you soon. Namaste.